Hey guys, Mike Cricket 113, uh, 113 here. Uh, just have a little video here. I want to show you about a antenna tuner. Um, this is a manual antenna tuner. What it does is it matches the impedance uh, between your antenna and the radio. The radio really likes to get 50 ohms, as you know, and most of the antennas that are sold uh, for uh, 11 meter use or amateur radio uh, use uh, is uh, 50 ohms as well. But it's not always the case. It's not always the case. Maybe you have a homebrew antenna. Uh, maybe you built a uh, quarter wave or ground plane or something and you know your radials are a little bit off you could always adjust them uh, and that's why we have SWR meters which is something similar to this over here which is an SWR meter and a uh, power meter uh, that's attached to this MFJ VersaTuner 2 MFJ model number 941 Delta um, anyway it matches everything the impedance with the antenna and the coax and the uh, uh, or if you're using an open ladder line, or you're using window line, or you're using a... If you're just uh, using a random length of wire, and that's that's what this thing's for, it's... Uh, you can cut a... You can cut your, uh, say, your 11 meter. I have this representation. Uh, uh, maybe you cut a 102, 108. Uh, that would be like, uh, you know quarter wave you know for uh, 108 inches or so or 102 inches would be quarter wave for 11 but say you had something a little bit longer you know uh instead of a quarter maybe it was uh three eighths of a wave you know uh you don't know you just have this random length of wire well you could hook it up to the back of this thing uh running into your your 11 meter radio and and tune it and tune it but for representation and example uh, tonight, I have an antenna hooked up to the President McKinley and the tuner uh, that I know the SWR's garbage is garbage, especially here in the room in the shack. So uh, I'm going to show you that real quick here, and that is what is hooked up to it. This is the Workman B100. I got a clamp to the door. I'm in my room. What worse conditions could you have? So back to the uh the radio and the tuner here right now on this dial right there where the white dot is it's on bypass coax okay so it's just the uh antenna and the radio communicating so i'm going to use the uh swr meter real quick in the mckinley and show you what the swr is on that uh b 100 over there, okay? So we're gonna toggle through our menu here till we get the SWR meter, which we've checked before. We know it works. And there she is. And we got a seven. <laughs> That's terrible. Now I got this radio, it's doing barefoot four watts, okay? So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. So we have a seven SWR. We have a seven SWR. So what we, what we do here, is that we have the inductor setting and we turn that we key up we key up the microphone and we turn the inductor setting until we get on the meter over here we watch the swr until we get a a low section and for me this was around a okay and then at that point we will key up again and we uh we turn the uh, transmitter matching area uh, until we find the needle, it, it, it may peak up and then it may go down and it may peak up again. You find it when you stop, when you, you stop turning that dial when it goes to a low spot. Then you go over to the antenna matching area and you do the same thing. You find your SWR until it gets even lower than where it was. Okay, it may go higher, it may go lower, it may go high again while you're turning these dials but you want to find it in the lowest spot. So I have to turn, I can't really, I don't have a tripod right now. My uh, tripod took a crap and as you know, I'm using my phone. So I have this all dialed in here. So everything is happy. So as I'll show it to you again real quick, 
it's bypass, so it's just the radio and the antenna. The B100 uh, over there. I'll show it to you again real quick. Here we go. Let's try to make this quick. We got a 7 SWR. That's terrible. And we knew that was going to be the case. So everything's dialed up. I'm going to go turn this knob sorry, to coax 1 because that's what it's hooked up to in the back. All right. I'm going to press the SWR meter. There you go. We got a 1. 1 to 1. 1.1, 1.2. It was reading 1.2 a little while ago, but I was adjusting it. So let me play with it. Let me play with it. Let me show you how it works. You can watch it there change. I'm going to do the antenna adjustment. I've got it right before the 4 now. Up. Oh, see it changing? It's going up. Okay. Now it's going down. And that's about the four there. Same thing goes over here. Let me try to get my hand out of the way. We're at the transmitter matching. Oh, it's going higher. 1.2 is not bad. There's a two. Try to keep my hand out of there. But you can see how you do. You just keep turning it. This works great if you got a president. If you go over here though, see it's flat. It's flat. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Let me shut that off. I just wanted to show you that how an antenna tuner, especially in the 11 meter, I mean, most of us are all talking on a, not all the time, but most of us are talking on a couple frequencies, you know? And this is a manual tuner, obviously, for every channel you go to, thereabouts. I mean, if you're if you're here and you're on 17, let me turn over to 17. I'll try it real quick over there, make sure nobody's talking. Make sure. I don't hear anything. All right. But either way, if you're talking in between channels there, it may be pretty darn close, but, you know, with... There's like 25 kilohertz of gap in between each channel on 11 meter. See, that's still working good. But like I said, if I shut this off to bypass, there's your seven again. Go back to the tuner, we're back down to one. So yeah, uh, if you're close enough, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see a problem. You might not have to uh, retune it. Uh, but if you're jumping, say, from Channel 6, the Super Bowl, all the way up to 38 lower, you may have to adjust. Especially if you're using, say, a random wire or something you built and you didn't, you're didn't, you not sure if the SWRs are working well enough or whatever. This would be a little handy, uh, handy thing to have, a tuner. Um, now, this is a manual tuner, and they also have the Versa Tuner 2. Uh, a newer model which has the uh, the X uh, meter on there it's a little bigger this is as you can see this is the old MFJ uh, emblem there but um, it works great works great and it's this one's rated up to 300 watts I have it on the lower watt setting and uh, has your forward of reflective power uh, your power meter and your SWR meter so it doesn't do a PEP but it does give you your average and uh yeah it works great works great and they do have uh out there mfj makes them and also other brands do automatic antenna tuners and a lot of guys use them but uh when it comes down to it this thing doesn't need any electricity uh it works just as it is and uh yeah it's worth it it's worth it you know it's something if you have high swrs and you're you're like running up and down the stairs, moving your coax around, uh, adjusting things like crazy. <clears throat> I mean, once you get it set, it's set. I understand that. But if you're into playing with the antennas and, I don't know, maybe you want to be crazy like me and, and hook up, uh, I don't know, hook up uh, the fence around the garden to, uh, to your CB radio and see if you can transmit. You're going to need one of these, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm getting at there. So anyway, this is Mike Cricket 113, and we got the 
MFJ versus Tuner 2, 941 Delta, and the President of McKinley playing a little game with the Workman B. I hope you're having a good night. Hope you have a good week. Stay safe out there and keep playing with those radios. All right, take care. Seven threes.